Hello! Are you having a good day? I hope you are. You can tell me down below in the comments if you're having a good day or not. If you don't know who I am, my name is Profe Kyle. I'm a English teacher for Latinos who are learning English. And I like to react to Latin American music because it's the only way I can convince my students to listen to my English. And because my students want me to speak in English, but then I'll make a video in English and they never watch it. But if I react to a music video in English, then they'll suddenly watch it. So this is why I react to Latin American music as well because I, I like Latin American music. And today I'm reacting to a Colombian song. Actually, uh, the, the woman, the young lady, the girl who recommended me this song, she's one of my students in my group classes. She sent me the song and said, here's a song, you should listen to it. I was like, okay, but you don't have to react to it. But the song was nice. Uh, so I am going to react to it because some people have told me that, well, you shouldn't react to music that you don't like. But of course, I don't know if I'm going to like the song or not if I don't listen to it first. So I have listened to the song. Spoiler, I do like the song, but I'm going to react to it for you guys. So this song is Love and Debts. Well, that's the English translation. In Spanish, it's Amor y Daudas. It's by a cumbia band from Colombia called Puerto Candelaria. So, you guys ready to listen to it with me? Ah, let's do it then. Si tú supieras la paliza que me has dado, tus manos rascando mi piel. Si tú supieras cómo me quitas las sombras, cómo me matas de placer.
que perdí. Just incredible, right? Just incredible. That's something that I always ask myself. Because cumbia is popular all over Latin America. In Mexico, they got cumbia. El Salvador, they got cumbia. Maybe in the Caribbean, they don't have, well, like Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Maybe they don't have cumbia. Cuba doesn't have cumbia. But Argentina has cumbia. Chile has cumbia. Peru has cumbia. But who invented cumbia? Colombians invented cumbia. But I remember I was living in Colombia and the only cumbia I ever heard was all the cumbia folklorica that the Colombians would dance to when they would do their... I like to call it the crab dance because they'd always be like... Call it the crab dance. And I always thought to myself, so the Mexicans, they got Los Angeles Azules and some other really good cumbia bands. Um, in Peru, they got chicha, which is like Peruvian cumbia. Peruvians can educate me about that below, but for me, it's pretty much Peruvian cumbia. And there's a whole bunch of good cumbia around Latin America. Like, why aren't the Colombians making cumbia? They are the creators. They created cumbia. Colombians, why aren't you making cumbia anymore? Teach these other Latinos how to do it. And then I heard the song, I was like, oh, the Colombians are making cumbia again. I was so happy. And yeah, and this is why Colombians need to make cumbia. Because Colombians make some good ass cumbia. So yes, as you can already see, I like the song. I understood most of the lyrics. It seems like the lyrics are talking about uh, a former couple. They broke up and angry at each other their partner left them with lots of debt uh yeah i think they still kind of love them maybe maybe something like that so i understood the lyrics which is very good i love cumbia if you don't already know i love cumbia and obviously this is cumbia made by colombians the creators of cumbia so you know it's even higher quality than all the other cumbia created well Mexican cumbia and Peruvian cumbia is very good as well. Uh, what else? Of course, that looked like I wish I was at that party. That seems like an awesome concert party to be at. A Puerto Candelaria party, probably in Bogota somewhere. And just people dancing cumbia. I wish I was there. I wish I was there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Good music. I love it. Definitely if you're Colombian, show this music to gringos. I think a lot of gringos who appreciate Latino culture would also like it as well. I would say that I've been waiting 10 years to hear some new modern Colombian cumbia. And I am very happy that I finally found it. And that's it. So what song should I react to next? Tell me below in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>